my whole career has been with the museum sector. But it just happened that uh, a decade back, uh, two of my colleagues, uh, the late Professor Brian Holden and the, the former chairman of the LB Prasad I Institute, Dr. G.N. Rao, uh, became uh, good friends. And I used to come often back to India. And during that time, they kind of expressed the large need in India for people to have access to a pair of spectacles. We might think of uh, a pair of glasses as something you know, extremely simple. You take it for granted in many parts of the world. Uh, but in a place like India, there are probably hundreds of millions of people who need access to a pair of glasses, but don't have access to it. Uh, they say that the effective refractive error coverage um, in, in an average way is only about 35%. Now, what basically um, are the big issues with regard to having access is, I think, you know, the simple answer is two things. One is awareness and the second is access. So probably 75, 80% of the people who need, uh, who need access to a pair of glasses don't have it because one, they're not aware that all they need is a pair of glasses. Second is, if they need a pair of glasses, there's no one in the proximity who can, who can refract and provide a pair of glasses. This especially is a big problem once you, may, once you move from the main cities and go into what they call as tier two, three, four cities or villages. Many of the children who go to government schools and if they have access to a pair of glasses, they can study well because 80% of what they study is visual. Uh, and in our case, when we do outreach projects in schools, uh, in, especially in corporation schools, we realize that nearly all of them are first time wearers after that. So that makes a world of a difference. Once you turn 40, you might need, uh, you might, uh, need access to a simple pair of readers. You don't have readers, means your productivity goes down. They say that your productivity can go down by as much as 30%. Your income earning potential can go down by an equal 30%. And often that 30% is what makes them either to live above the poverty line or below the poverty line. So, uh, you know, some people probably have, you know, more accidents because they can't see well. We have and continue to do to work with commercial drivers. These are drivers who, who drive trucks and taxis often in the low or the lower middle income group. And what we realize is 55% of them need a pair of glasses. Half of them, about you know, 25, 30%, they need readers, that's okay. But the rest need glasses for distance correction. But the most scary part is 2% of them, their vision is so compromised that I would doubt whether they can see the next signal. And even more scary is 90% of those who we have screened and provided glasses are first time wearers. That means they never had an eye test done before. So, you know, it's, it's, it's it basically when you talk about road safety, this becomes a very, very important issue. In India, lots of things are falling in place. You know, there are legislations in place in terms of qualities and standards. But I think maybe for the next decade, the most important aspects are going to be one is how do you increase awareness someone who's getting old shouldn't think that their fading eyesight is because they're just getting old there's a simple solution to it you know j just having access to a pair of spectacles is something that would correct the vision so you know that kind of a, a messaging needs to happen now the second is you need access now india at this point might need more than 120,000 optometrists to cater to the needs. This is based on international average in terms of population and the number of optometrists. But India has got probably hardly one third that number. So which means we need to have more human resources. Now, this is not something you can do in a hurry. So maybe you've got to look at, uh, you know, better options in terms of teleoptometry, technology and a whole range of other things. So I think technology is going to be the answer. Otherwise, a lot of people uh, just probably going to live life and might even die without having access to pair of glasses.